If you've heard of the five different Chinese elements, what I'm going to be talking about in this video is the fire element. And this is another really strong aspect within myself. Fire element people normally have nice pale skin. They normally have red hair, often curly hair will be um, a sign of the fire element within yourself. They have very sparkly eyes and they often have dimples. If you have dimples, that's a strong um, sign that you are a fire type. Now fire types are obviously very easy to tell because they follow a lot of the characteristics of fire. Fire people are naturally very passionate, they're very energetic, enthusiastic, charismatic and gregarious. Fire people actually really love spending time with other people. Um, what they are drawn to is basically new experiences. If you could imagine that a new experience was basically like this new beautiful dry log of wood, the fire is just drawn to that to consume it. So fire people really love learning new skills, having new experiences. Fire people love to travel, but most importantly, fire people really love to socialize. They love to entertain, they want to be the life of the party, um, and they often have quite a lot of friends. Um, I guess what's so beautiful about fire people is that fire people are you're actually feeding your soul the more you spend time with other people the more you can touch and connect with other people in a way that helps you um, is actually like fuel for your soul it really helps you to feel joy um, I think what's really really lovely is that you know fire people are such natural entertainers they are um, very witty and very um, engaging and entertaining. They'll always have a story or a joke. Um, their mere appearance will always be, um, you know, they'll wear that gorgeous red dress, you know, to the Christmas party and they're the ones that are happy to flaunt their figure and basically to be the one that everyone looks at. Um, it's really, really important to be able to honor and acknowledge that this is just essentially who you are. A lot of fire people have had wounding in their early life where they've been told it's not all about you, you don't have to be the center of attention, why do you always love the limelight? So actually when we do see these fire people it's very important to be able to understand that they will have gone through their own wounding where they were told to be quiet and to get out of the limelight, get off the stage, get down from the soapbox and so when they show up being these charismatic, gregarious people, it's really important to honor that that's been a hard-won victory for them to be able to actually allow themselves to stand in their element and be true to this fire component is, is really a big soul win. So if you're doing that, I really want to encourage you and I guess um, recognize how, how beautiful it is that you've given this to yourself. For me, um, being a water predominantly water and then fire um, elemental means that for me I really have times of deep solitude and reflecting and laying and then I want to be entertaining and then I want to be uh, engaging with a group and connecting with my tribe and really um, being with people and connecting with them in a powerful way. It's important to know that we have to give ourselves these things, that they're just essential parts of our nature. Um, Fire people do really well to be surrounded by light, pictures of the sun, um, bright lamps and light. Anything that shimmers is always going to be attractive for you. You will love glitter and you will love sequins and um, being able to keep your environment illuminated with light will be really important for you. So if you do live in a part of the world that can get quite dark and gloomy, really doing your best to surround yourself with reflections of light and sun and fire are just so so important to really help you shine in in the the natural element that you are recognizing that you do really thrive on connecting with people really actively allow yourself to step outside of your comfort zone and pursue that whether it's acting or dance or public speaking or um you know, going to a seminar or going to something where there's a lot of people there. It's so, so uh, beautiful for your soul to feel yourself giving that to yourself. Um, as a fire person, really understanding that our desires are what fuels our engagement. 
So very, very important for fire people to be deeply connected to um, what they desire, what they yearn for. And you'll know that you have this um, unlimited resourcefulness to seek after the things that you're really drawn to experience and be and do and become. So please know if you're a fire person not connected to your desire, it's actually really, really essential for you to be deeply connected to this part of yourself. I hope this has been a valuable insight to be able to check and see whether you are of the fire element. And if you are, I just hope that you continue to shine in all of your glory and really allow yourself to pursue everything that brings you to life and know that you're not somebody that stays with something. <laughs> okay, You really love flitting to new things. And that's really, really good for you. Really allow yourself to continue to you know, pursue your interests, pursue your passions, and allow yourself to have a roaring good time as you do so. This is lots of love from Lisa. I'd love to hear if you're of the fire element and how do you support yourself to shine in this beautiful way. I hope that you continue to own who you are and rise in the beautiful fire element that you are. This is lots of love from Lisa Black.